Hi, it's me, Dr. Lee, and thank you for joining me. Today's prayer, I am calling it, Let God Do the Impossible. Let God do the impossible. I'm going to read Luke 1st chapter, verse 37, KJV. And it says, For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Luke 1, verse 37, KJV. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. And when I hear that Bible verse, it makes me think about like, Things that are like, okay, like, can this really happen for me? And I'm like, okay, yes, this really can happen for me. God really can open this door. God really can open that door. God really can do this. And God can do this and can do that. But a lot of times, we don't realize we put like a glass ceiling. You know, God got this, you know, the whole, you know, whatever he can do. Just, I mean, like the impossible. And because I don't think we limit God. We put kind of put God like, you know what I'm saying, in the box, so, okay, God's not doing this this time. God's not doing that. Well, you don't hear about God's not not doing it. And so we have to keep ourselves encouraged because what um, Satan doesn't want, he don't he doesn't want us to be encouraged. He wants to believe that you know, yeah, because you think it, you know, you you think it, it is so. Because you think it doesn't mean that you know it is so. It may be so in your life. You may say, you know what. I want to open a um a, a, a business and you know you think like you know I never be able to open a business I'm not smart enough I don't have enough money I can't do it people don't like me um, you know whatever thousand of reasons and um of course you're not gonna be able to do it with that attitude but then um your sister or brother go right ahead and they say I'm gonna open a business and they have a different attitude and they say you know what I'm going to trust in um, God and I'm gonna stick in there I'm gonna hang in there and I'm not going to quit and I'm going to do this and and they and they do it and so a lot of times don't let your own thinking your own you know for whatever reason people make up excuses or why they can't do something or you know why they you know like why why I can't do it. I mean the people think of all kinds of like just 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 nonsense why they can't do um do something and you just think about it. if you have God on your side I mean, who can be against you you know you know so just just whatever it is don't let anyone don't let Satan send anyone to you and say it can't be done and I don't care how many times somebody else attempted it or try to you know they they may couldn't do it but you know what god has it you know for you to do he has given you that 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 dream or that that passion however so don't let other people kill your desires you know just if you feel like god gave you something and he's gonna bless it stick with that stick with that and just keep on you know going it doesn't mean that because the first one you know you're going to do it's it's going you know everybody's going to love it and like it you know who cares but everybody love and like it you know this is something you love and that you enjoy you do it and like you can take like just like with um, me doing um, these YouTube videos. I tell everybody when I was doing the YouTube videos, I'm, you know, I only get like a few views. But, you know, hey, you know, when doing it for views, still not doing it for views. I love God. I love, you know, sharing. I love encouraging people. I love pointing people, you know. Like, okay, I can point you to God. I can bless you with something, you know, maybe something I say can help someone. And so, and then, you know, on top of that, I would say, you know, you won't believe how much these um, videos, you know, they help me, you know, and help me to think and to um to focus you know to even like just just i don't know it's just always just like just constant you know just i don't know, constant blessing to myself so with that i'm saying that now you um you, you look at my my um i got more subscribers you know getting more um views a day and, it, and like i said but it's not even a, a about uh, it's not even about that so what i'm telling you let God do the impossible. And like now I've been coming on here, you know, the last couple months and making a video every and every day. And I don't know how long I do that for until God, you know, tell me to do something different. The Holy Spirit guide me to do something different. Um, that's what um I do. But I've been, you know, just 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 I mean, just enjoying myself and yeah, I would say this is be the impossible. I'm like, who would ever thought that I would have time to even to to fit this in especially doing this as frequently as, as i've been doing it here um here lately but but with god i mean i mean let him do the impossible so let him you know take you know your your subscribers you may not have a one 
too. Be thankful for that one too. So you know what? I'm thankful for that one too that they want to hear me or they want to see me or whatever. And, you know, go from there and then let God grow it, you know. So if it's something you want to do, don't let other people. If it's a YouTube channel, if it's starting um, a cupcake shop or, you know, a babysitting service or whatever you're doing, you know, um, gentor service. I mean, it's, I mean, the sky's the limit. Just don't let other people, naysayers, stop you for doing what God has put in your heart to do. You know, and that you believe that you can do it or one of your desires. You know, let God bless it. So I'm going to pray. Father, I come to you. Send on Luke 1 verse 37. In your word, it says, For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Father, I know with you, nothing's impossible. So I have great spiritual desires. And I know by standing on Luke 1 and 37 that you will bless my spiritual desires because with you, all things are possible. So Father, you know my heart's desire and you know the things that I like to see done spiritually. And so Father, I just thank you for doing the impossible. And thank you for all the impossible you have done in my life. And that you will do. I love you. I thank you. I appreciate it. And just thank you, Father, for being an awesome God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And so, let God do the impossible in your life. Don't, don't be negative towards your own self. And don't let other people be negative towards you. And I mean, they can be negative, but you don't have to receive it. That's what I'm saying. So don't receive negative talk and um, people that's not going to do anything. They're not going to go anywhere. They're going to be doing the same thing, you know, that they've been doing. And, you know, as some people say, they be hating on you. But you just keep growing. You keep growing and whatever, you know, God may tell you, hey, maybe tell you, you got, you know, you're going to be an evangelist or you're supposed to be an evangelist or you're supposed to be a deacon or you're supposed to be a, a preacher or a pastor or, you know, you're supposed to be your whatever, whoever. And if God's telling you, don't let, you know, anyone else naysay it and make you feel like you can't, can't do it. That's the beauty of God because you can't do it. He can. So, and if you came across this video and you do not have a relationship with Jesus Christ, all you have to do is repent of your sins and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And if you do have a relationship with Jesus Christ, all you need to do is grow that relationship. You know, grow it, grow it, grow it. Be the brightest light you can be. And just continue to study and to pray. You know, praise, worship God fast. You know, read your Bible and be obedient to his word. No use reading it if you're not going to apply it to your life. And just watch God. Watch what he does in your life. And I'm Dr. Lee. Thank you for watching. Let go, let God, and keep it moving. Take care.